Jackson Kowar's first pitch is fouled away. 96. In on his hands, and it's 0-2. Try that one away. He just wasn't able to put the hitters away, and now he's 0-2. And, and that's upstairs at 98. A good straw. And it's a slider, and it's ripped into left field. That stayed out over the plate. So at the count, one and two, Miles Straw. Fastball swung on and missed. And I have one ball, one strike. And the count is one and two, so he's been one and two. There's the change up. Ah, that's a good roller. And that's pulled foul, another change up. And that's Kowar's best. Fastball. One away. Had seven runs on 11 hits and three home runs. There's a strike. There goes Straw. And that's fouled back our way. Holtzy. Holt. Holtzy. Nope. A little short. Not Holtzy. Not running this time. And Ramirez takes in the dirt. Salvi has a nice backhand dig. Had the play. He was sliding into second or third base. Ramirez takes low. Two balls, two strikes. Coleman would he would change the game. And now a pop up. Mickey Lopez wants it and Jackson Kowar and his return to the big leagues gets ahead of all first two starts plus a relief outing and 18 ERA. And so Matheny saying today Daniel has been a great example have as long of a time he's just got this month but he can look at his buddy and say this is what can happen once you put your work in all former roommates all in the same draft they'll continue to push each other. Well Joel he's been ahead of all four hitters either 0 2. He's getting a lot more swings on the changeup in the first two innings and this was his changeup. I remember she was like wow yeah how do you contain that thing. There's a solid base hit into left center field but Taylor cuts it off and Zimmer came ripping around first Royals have a chance to make a play and now a ricochet and Kowar gives it to Santana and Zimmer is going to be out. But the one thing I like there is Zimmer coming around that base making the outfielder stop him. He was thinking two all the way. He was just called up as the rosters have expanded and there's a diving play by Witt and Kowar and umpires. Yeah, I was just going to say the same thing. They got wearing the yellow ribbons and yellow wristbands. Has come up against Kowar. And let's see how he settles in now. And he has been working ahead tonight tonight one hitter after another love how he's throwing nicely tonight. Here comes another one. Strike three over the outside edge that is 26 pitches and 20. I talked to him about that. See what he calls that. That was a change up. Now ball one on Austin Hedges. Kawara struck out three and two in the third innings. He struck out two in his first five innings. Okay, back three fingers. And That's it, a screwball. Yes, thank you. He may not he may not rotate his arm like the traditional screwball. Deal with the break. Not only the change of speed, but the break on that on that ball. You know, it reminds me of a left-handed Fernando Valenzuela. Deal. Except he's a righty. Two and two on hedges. Now that'd be a great question. I wonder if anyone has ever labeled his changeup like a screwball because that's how. 
That's in the dirt three and two on hedges. Right to Nikki Lopez. And there are two down in the third. Ninety seven is in there for strike one. Oh, and two. And he's been ahead all night. He overthrew that one. One ball, two strikes. Two and two. Joel was talking about Mike Matheny's comments about what Daniel Lynch has done since coming back from AAA, and I thought the way Joel has done. I mean, it's been remarkable what Daniel Lynch has done. That'll be foul off the right field line. You know, Coar has been a fan and been watching these guys. He's going, you know, I can do that. I can't wait till my next opportunity. I'm going to shout him, passing the baton. Three and two. They watch each other's bullpens. And bullpen means out picking up things from each other. That's pulled to wit and shallow right. And Jackson Kowar has it's too bad. It's great to see him out there. Six strikeouts look good. And it's been a while since we've seen him. It's just not just a two pitch guy with an occasional third pitch. But I mean, he was consistently three, four pitches for his who singled and then was picked off by Kowar in the first inning. And that's hit well to center. Taylor goes back and he runs it down. Change up for a strike to Rosario. Rusty Kuntz using interesting things that he does well defensively. He runs very good deep routes. Kowar gets it to Santana. And as you have pointed out many times that exactly. There's a change up low to Jose Ramirez. Yeah, and you know that, that comes with time. He's a veteran. He's been doing that for a long time out there and it would not be his big league home. You can take a shortstop and make him into a center. Ramirez popped a short in his first time up. Two balls and one strike. Jackson Coar is one batter away from four scoreless innings. That is high. Three balls and one strike. Change up. Where was it? Ooh, he called her. That for a strike. Rung up Fran Mill Reyes on one of those. Fastball at 96 is in there. One and one. One and two. Reyes might have thought that was high, but he is 6-5. Got to get it down. And it's going to skip by Salvi and roll back to Kowar. That got by Salvi. It went through two balls, two strikes. And he thought about it, but did not go. Three and two. Change up. Reyes strikes out for a second time. He did hit her. Punted foul by Bradley Zimmer. Zimmer and the Royals thought they had an out at first base as Zimmer was returning to first, but that throw to first got away. One ball, two strikes. Two 
Two balls, two strikes. I'm thinking about the wild pitch. Grandpa, tell us about your first major league start. Three and two on Zimmer. Well, it didn't go very well. Well, I had a little jitters, a little nervous, but I had a great changeup. You should have seen it. <laughs> That's grounded into left field for a base hit. And now Cleveland has two runners on for the first time tonight. And Ramirez has had two really. And that is stroke to right field, but he hit it down around the end of the bat. And Dozier gets behind it. And Zimmer is not able to get back in time to tag. Popped up. Carlos Santana has to get around Sandy Alomar Jr. And he's there for. No swing. Let's check him out. Two and oh. Two and one. Eight miles an hour. Two balls, two strikes. Left center field and carrying. It's a long run. Taylor is there, but it's off of his glove. And he may have taken his eye off it at the last moment. And Cleveland is going to get two. Who has a base hit and a line out to center field. And he'll ground one up the middle. Nicky Lopez is there. And that's the inning. So the leadoff walk. Jeff Montgomery is Kowar goes back to work in the sixth inning. And a good looking slider is in for a strike. That look up to a righty is a little bit uncommon, but Kowar, he has so much confidence in that pitch. It just seems like he's willing to throw it to lefties and the righties. And Intendi holds Rosario to a long single. He is one rundown situation and that was just something that young players oftentimes they get a little out of control they rush and maybe throw them very close to having five scoreless innings and I'm not going to blame Michael H. L. A. Taylor for anything that will get in that ball and now into shallow center field here comes Taylor and he's got it almost overran it and Ramirez is 0 for 2. Reyes has struck out saying something about what he's doing tonight just not for him but who he's facing I mentioned it last so this was an offense really on a roll and feeling good yeah. coming into tonight for sure three and zero on Ruben Stadium outfield grass and Kowar just said, here you go, buddy, and yeah. threw it right by him. That's it. If you have that type of velocity, you can do that. And that is low for a walk. His just inside with a fastball. And a fastball is swung on and missed. One and one. Monty. Bowar has the fastball and he has the changeup, but you're hearing that those so guys a fastball slider guy just because of the the impact that that uh, that arm slot that arm speed can have on those two and now here they are third time through the lineup it's starting to even out a little bit and a changeup is in for a called third strike and now he's got to get past Harold Ramirez who has been on him Ramirez hit a shot And how about being fooled like that on a changeup? He missed that by a foot. Sure did. He was totally locked in on that fastball. And you're right, and it's in for a strike. And he's ordered to change up once more. I'll throw him another one. Nope. Elevated fastball. Two balls, two strikes. A sign. 
shot foul over the Royals dugout. And he was out in front of that. I mean, he thought we're talking about the third pitch. This is a perfect situation for that third pitch. Chopped foul on another change just to give him a completely different look. Right, because he's seen that in big situations, that's when it really counts. Change up, struck him out. <laughs>